Hi guys, I'm Steph and I want to show you some absolutely incredible food science, the stuff that absolutely fascinates me. I'm going to show you how to make a magical colour changing cocktail. Well it would be magical if it wasn't actually magic, it's chemistry and it's really brilliant. So what you need for this is one of these beautiful fellows here, it's a red cabbage, really stunning. First of all, you're just going to chop off the end of it because I just want to look inside. This is one of the most beautiful things I think in the natural world. Just look at that. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> I could probably just gaze at that for kind of half an hour or something. If I wasn't busy and needed to show you something. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this bit here and chop it up into little bits. So chop, 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 chop. That's probably all we need. And then chop a little bit the other way. Okay. And when we've chopped it up, we're going to put all of the bits into here. This is just a little jug and this is just an ordinary, ordinary red cabbage. There's nothing strange or special about it whatsoever apart from the fact that it's a beautiful red cabbage. Now we need a little bit of water. This is just ordinary tap water straight out of my North London tap. There we go. Now you need to whiz it up. So you can use a food processor or just a hand blender is the really easy thing. Here we go. <laughs> that looks beautiful. See that foam on the top there? It's like sort of beer from hell. Okay, now we're going to strain this through a little sieve. And what we want to do is get all of that beautiful cabbagey juice. We strain all of that off. That is beautiful. Okay, and this is the purple gold. We're going to drop that into a big bottle of water. Now, this is quite magical because the colour inside this cabbage juice is called an anthocyanin or anthocyanins and they've got this beautiful livid blue colour. Look at that, absolutely stunning. But it's not just an interesting food dye, it's something quite extraordinary. It's called a pH indicator. It will change colour, it will change its form if it's in the presence of an acid. So if we make this water acidic, it should change its form. So here's an acid. This is a lemon and it's packed full of citric acid. So we'll give that a little squeeze in the top here, like that. A <laughs> bit of a squirt and another squeeze. Can't quite see anything yet. We'll give this fella a nice big squeeze as well. And now I think we're ready to start the magic. Okay, watch very closely and see what happens. It changes colour almost instantly from blue to pinky purple. And that's because this liquid is now slightly acidic. It's got that citric acid sloshing around in it. So the anthocyanins, the colour in that red cabbage, has changed its form and it's now purple. The amazing thing is we can switch it back. We can switch it back to neutral, back to just normal tap water, and then we can switch it all the way over to being alkaline. Trouble is, there aren't many foods that are really alkaline around the house, so I've had to use some of this. This is a bit of washing powder from our washing machine. Okay, so let's tip a little bit of this in. This is quite alkaline, but it takes a little while to dissolve. So a couple of teaspoons there and watch very closely from the bottom. So first of all, it's turned back to being blue right at the bottom there. And now you can see it's just slowly beginning to turn green. Just a little bit of green, sort of turquoisey green. And as you give it a stir, it gets more and more green. So we've switched it from being acidic to alkaline. We've turned it from being pink back to blue and back to green again. And you can actually switch it either way all the time. And what's extraordinary about this is that it's just normal, natural colour lurking in the sorts of vegetables that we eat every day. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Come back and see some more crazy food science with me anytime soon.